Good evening. Well, I tried to stick to the criticism I received, but uh, it turns out they they just don't like any videos I do. So that that's okay. I'm guessing they just don't like me. And that's okay. So I'm going to zoom out here. Oh, wait. What I'm going to show is another PIP. I consider it to be PIP. I'm not sure it 100% qualifies, as we'll see in the minor arcana, but this is the Luminous Spirit Tarot deck. It says it's the Prism Edition, and you can kind of see why in this band in the middle here. That's also on the back of all of the cards. So let's zoom out. See if I can zoom in some. Get rid of this. Get rid of the hourglass. They're slippery, so I'm trying to be careful here. And that's the box that came in. One of those, you know, if you like any box, you like these. No booklet. Again, it's an app thing you got to download, which kind of leaves me out until I get an iPad. If I get an iPad, we'll see how eye surgery goes. But you can see that little band around the middle. That's basically what all the backs of the cards are like. Nice little bird here in the corner. This ditch, I got this from their website. Uh, why does it have to be so hard to say? Labyrinthos, I think. And it came fast. Of course, I ordered everything they had, practically. Well, deck-wise. A single ray of light travels through a prism and breaks into a rainbow of colors. You, too, are made of light, color, sound, breath, and voice. Okay. A whole universe resides within you. I'll buy that. But, <laughs> but if you look at the card... All of a sudden, the idea of a prism disappears because they're just black and white. And I like black and white because that's mostly what I do, if you can call what I do even close to art. It's doodling. Here's the Fool card. Hmm. Almost like he's carrying the... She, he, he. is carrying the Olympic torch into the stadium or something. If you watch the Olympics, is that an egg at the bottom with a ribbon around it? Mm. Kind of a crescent moon in it, whatever it is. And I won't be able to capture this, but when you turn it, oh, I captured a little bit of it, according to the viewfinder up there. You can see the rainbow in there. What I notice when I hold it to my eyes is I see two very, it's not like it hit, it's showing on the camera. But it's two very thin strips of light like you get from a regular prism. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of cold today, so my sinuses or whatever you call them can't decide what to do because the weather keeps flip-flopping. One day it's 60, the next day it's minus 5 or some ridiculous number. It snowed last night, and now it looks like the sun's coming out. So, very colorful. Camera does not like this. So, that's what all the backs look like. I tried several of them to see if they're made different ways and you get a different pattern, but you don't. So, that's probably the best feature of this deck to me, but then I could have got away with just buying one card, right? But there, <laughs> there's the Major Arcana. I always like to notice the Hermit card because that's my favorite card, even though I guess star is supposed to be my card. I don't know. <laughs> so let's get started on the minor arcana here. Here come the pentacles. Uh, there's a shadow again. Did I turn that light off? Because I put on the bright light, which helps with most cards that have colors, but in this case it just washed it out completely. It's like there were white cards on the camera. So that's the pentacles. Uh, I moved those cards around. Here comes the swords. I like this butterfly one. Sorry. 
So do those count as pips? I mean, it's not really a scene. It's just a butterfly. I mean, the cards they refer to as Marseille and pipish, they seem to have vines doing various things. So I don't know. I'm going to call it Pip, since this is March of the Pips, 2018. <laughs> I'm going to make this an entry, since I don't really want to do the tag that has you do this, that, and the other thing. I mean, after all, I did do the tag all 50-some days of it, I think it was, into the Wildwoods, and I kind of felt like Kelly of the Truth and Story led me into the Wildwoods and, and left me there. <laughs> had to find my own way back out. I'm just kidding. She's a sweetheart and adorable and all that. And it was fun to do that, but I didn't think I wanted to do that for this one, so I didn't. Here are the cups and the bird again. I wonder if that's the same bird. And these people are definitely not eye candy like a lot of times. They just seem like regular people of different places and that was the cups here comes the wands the wands seem to have a bit more hand hand hmm. like I say I still think it's pip but I don't know is that a pomegranate sometimes they draw pomegranates they look like onions so that was a quick hopefully Look at the Luminous, which seems an odd name for a black and white deck. It should have been the Non-Luminous Spirit Tarot deck. It says, oh, here's some information. It says, Hand Illustrated by Tina Gong. And I don't think there's anything else in the back. Just that I can get an app for an Android or an iOS. I bet the app doesn't... The only Android device I have is a Roku for the TV. I doubt it works on that. Maybe it does. I don't know. So with that, I will say peace.